Okay, thank you for joining me. This is Daniel in Plain Language Part 4. And we left off. We're going to look at the 8th chapter now. We've done the 2nd and the 7th chapter. And in the 8th chapter, we have a vision by the river of Ulei. Uh, and let's take a look at it. And I looked up and lo, or I'm sorry, and I looked up and I saw a kingdom, Ram, with two armies, or horns, both having great striking ability. But the second army ability to strike was greater than the first. And I saw this kingdom taking, taking and overthrowing kingdoms, pushing toward the west and toward the north, and the southern king, northern and southern kingdoms of the world. There was no other kingdom which could resist him, and he did just whatever he wanted to do, and all feared him worldwide. The Defeat of the First World System in Times And I, <clears throat> and as I considered what this might mean, look, a western kingdom as stubborn as a male goat arose up afterwards, which unlike the usual kingdoms of the world, its government was not unto the people, or touch not the ground. And the kingdom had a great army which was very respected and feared, or notable, horn, with great intelligence, and he came to the kingdom, or the ram, two armies, in a vengeful rage, and blasted them with great firepower, and annihilated the two armies. And the kingdom, or ram, was overthrown and dissolved completely. No other nation could help them. Its armies were dismantled and dismantled, dismantled and the strength of its troop were scattered. Then, when the western kingdom became great, its military was broken into four great armies and dispersed as a pre as a presence over the whole earth. Okay, let's see what happened then. The beginning of the little horn. Mm. Out of one of these four armies came up a small specialized army, which became very great. It gained world power against the south and the east and toward all the choice lands of the world held by the great men among the earth. And this kingdom exercised itself even more against the kingdom of God than other kingdoms. In fighting against the kingdom of God, it caused those whose lights did not shine bright to be cast away from God's grace and utterly separated from him. Now, this is the Terrorist Religious Enforcement Army. They had a special army. And as you can see, I decorated it here a little bit. I suppose after you look at this stuff too long, you get bored and you just got to have, you know, start doing stuff like this. But anyway, let's take a look at it here. The small army of the kingdom then became great and, or greater, than the whole military of the kingdom and dared the generals of the military to stop him. And by him it was sought to eliminate every single thing that had to do with the worship of God and the daily abilities for the saints to function. Even the saints themselves were being destroyed. And a special army for rounding up the saints was contrived and it was adopted overwhelmingly. This came as a result of the saints' determination to break the law in order to conduct activities which its government con constituted as an assault to the state and a conspiracy to s destroy world peace. Yeah, right. As a result of the kingdom broke, as a result, the kingdom broke up the people of God and destroyed the true word of God and all that had anything to do with this so-called destructive way of life. And to persecute the saints became for them a way to make a living for many which prospered from as from that prospered from as a matter of 
or prospered from it as a matter of business. I have to fix that. Okay, so let's take a further look. Then I heard one saint speaking to another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the taking away of the daily activities of the saints and the transgressions of the saints which is causing them to be terminated? And he said unto me, Unto two indefinite periods of time and a fraction of time more, confirmation of death as unto God, three hundred, shall the people of God be cleansed of all them which are not true to their faith. Okay. Now, Gabriel was ordered to reveal the vision. And it came to pass when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning, then behold, there stood before me as in an appearance of man, and I heard a man's voice between the banks of the of Uliah, which called, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end, the end time, or that is, the end of the war between good and evil, shall be the vision. Now as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face toward the ground, but he touched me and set me upright, and he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the last end of the indignation, for at the time appointed, the end shall be. Okay. The end time kingdom spoken of in the likeness of current kingdoms. Now be careful here. Again, one more time. Get this. End time kingdoms are spoken of in the likeness of current kingdoms. He's using the current kingdoms to explain and make it clear to Daniel what's going to happen uh, as a result of these end time kingdoms. Just as in Revelation it talks about Mystery Babylon and it references the seven heads or the kingdoms that have passed to explain what the kingdoms to come will be. So, okay, let's look at it. The two ram horns are inferior kingdoms signified by like kingdoms of the current times, Media and Persia. And the rough, the rough goat, stubborn kingdom, is a prevailing strong kingdom signified by the kingdom as such of the current times, Grecia. And the great horn between his, its eyes is the strength of its army, which is in completeness of perfection, that is, ten. When they break the armies into the four kingdoms, the powers of, of the great horn army will cease. And in the latter end, or the end times of their kingdoms, when the transgressions are come to the full, the king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentence, sentences shall come to power or stand up, and his power shall be mighty but not by his own power. And that's where you get the two horn, lamb-like uh, horns in thir Revelation 13 and 11. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper in practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policies also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. This idea of peace or seeking peace by eliminating or eradicating those uh, organizations which they deem destructive, which uh, Christianity will be at the top of the list. And he shall also stand up against the Prince of Peace, but he shall be taken down without a fight, or that is, broken without hand. And that kind of gives us an idea of the um, the the interactions there of the goat taking out that first world system and how the great fierce leader came out of the four kingdoms that came from the goat, which was the one army that knocked out the ram or the first 
world king world kingdom um, in time so you kind of start to get the big picture but we'll learn more there's still a lot more to come we'll look at chapter 9 next thank you